Hello, my name is Linda Leclerc, the founder of the Canadian School of Laughter Yoga and of the Haha Sisterhood. Welcome in the Joy Element, the feel-good podcast that will inspire you. Today, we'll explore the joy element of a fascinating woman, Andrea Bobkowitz. I met her through a mutual friend who has now transitioned. Andrea was taking care of her investments, and I have to say she has been a key person helping me with the estate. We physically met for the first time at my friend's funeral, and I fell in like with her wit and sense of humor. She has a job I certainly am not able to do. She is a wealth advisor. Yes, that must be a stressful job. <laughs> Meet Andrea's joy element. Hello, Andrea Bobkowitz. Hello. How are you, Linda? <laughs> I'm very good, and you? I'm very We're well. sitting in her office right now in Montreal, downtown Montreal, in Westmount, actually. Yes. And it's a lovely Friday afternoon, and yes. she has no clue of the questions that I'm going to ask her. No clue at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love. Andrea, you're doing, like, you have a very, what I would describe as a very stressful job, and uh, you're doing a great job at it. And um, um, my question for the joy element, mm -hmm. the first one is, when you're dealing with stress, and I know that you're dealing with lots of stress, what do you do to relax and to just to, ch to chill a bit? I think the most important thing for me to do is have a pet. Oh. I have a couple of pets. I've had pets since the beginning of my career. Mm. And I just love them because I can hug them, I can pet them, and they calm me and right down. Fun. And they're fun. And the most important thing is they get me out and I do walks in the morning, mm. every single morning. Because if you don't, you're on your hands and knees cleaning up a mess in your house. So yeah. you don't want that. So <laughs> Who does? <laughs> no one. <laughs> So I'm up and I'm out walking the dogs every morning. So it really changes your whole atmosphere. And when you come home, uh, the first thing I do is take They're the dogs for a walk. They're excited to see you. They love me. They mm. can't wait to see me. <laughs> and if I'm there all day long, they're like, are we going out midday? Let's do a midday walk. And they just sort of, they're sort of like uh, silent partners in keeping your mind uh, grounded, you know, with, yeah. with uh, keeping walking and stuff. So yeah. um, I'm so impressed with them that I actually... My previous dog and now my current dog, I've had them trained to be therapy dogs. Good. Yeah, so I hope to go out to elder care facilities and actually bring them to give comfort to other people. Because oh. I find them so relaxing, they so are. calming. And mm -hmm. they're fun to be with. Like, I remember when, when we had a dog, like, this was actually, I keep saying that when I went through a very difficult period at mm. some point and my dog kept me sane. Mm -hmm. Because you have to go, you have to go out with them and to take care of them. So. And their expectations are very low. Yeah. You know, the and they love you. They love, 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 uh, love. The stressful environment I'm in, it's, it's interesting because they put everything in a different perspective. Mm. And I become more stress manager than someone who actually absorbs the stress or is the stress. I see other people around me that I'm working with, clients, other people that are very stressful uh, or stressed out. And I try and keep it balanced where I can and say, okay, let's bring it back to calm. Let's bring it back to uh, um, a, more, a more contented place if we can, the mm. best we can, and just, you know, uh, be proactive. Yeah. Wow, that's very good. Yeah. You're the first one mentioning that uh, your pet is helping, your pets mm -hmm. are helping you to, to relax when you're experiencing stress. Number one. They're, they're, they're with me everywhere. Yeah. I, so, I wonder why, you know, they're, they're, because, because I know that what you do, <laughs> I could probably not cope with all that stress. So when you have a day where things are not going so well, not that you're stressed, but if your mood is like meh, a bit nostalgic or if you're feeling sad, what do you do to cheer up? To sit, cheer yourself up? Sit on the floor and have a puppy fest. Ah, You know, get get down to the get down to the fun stuff. The other day, I gave the, both of them a bath outside in the in the little kiddie pool because I didn't feel like bending down in the bathtub and washing them. It's like it's beautiful out, so just hose it up. And they had a great time. They were running around looking like you know some sort of shampoo freaks. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> 
That's right. No, that's something else. Like, I remember that my dog made me laugh a yeah. lot. Now my cat makes me laugh. Yeah. Uh, I think it changes, it changes the focus because when work, no matter what work it is, I actually, I came here and, you know, I'll be honest, I'm at a bank branch and I just went down the hallway to take a photocopy and there was someone there in charge of mortgages and she said, are you scared of dogs? And I thought, why? And around the corner came her huge chocolate lab. Ooh. beautiful dog but she now takes it to work with her it's her full-time companion here in the office in a bank branch and That's I'm like great. wow it's funny I went to have a pedicure yes I did have a pedicure and the owner of that place like she had her dog mm -hmm. waiting for her and mm -hmm. the dog was there waiting for her mama <laughs> yeah uh, and it's like the the the, the c'est quoi le, um, uh, que I, I, I can't remember the name. You know when you have a... Um, it's not a chouchou, um, a mascot. Mascot. Yeah. That's the same word. Mm -hmm. Mascot. Same word. And, you know, although I've been doing this for... Since I'm... You know, more than 20 years. Mm. 20 I've gone through. I, I, I hate... And I don't like the word going through. I've lived many lives with different dogs. Yes. Um, but um, it seems to be uh, one of the most sad and most positive things coming from COVID is the amount of new dog owners. And I really hope that the new dog owners really take the joy that they brought into their yes. homes. It's a privilege. It is a privilege that they really, you know, hold on to that. Mm -hmm. And it could be cats, it could be rabbits, it could be anything. But for me, it's definitely dogs because they just seem to have an inert sense of understanding. If you're not feeling 100%, they're going to just go nuzzle up against you. Yeah. Whether you want them there or not. Yeah. Whether you're interested in them or not. <laughs> you know, and they're just sort of sort of leaning up against you saying, how you doing? Yeah. You haven't pet me enough today. Yeah. I'm just letting you know we're not at our quota. What's going on? Yeah. And you're, you're, you, you feel, it feels like you're not feeling so good. Mm -hmm. So how about we play? Yes. It'll help you. Yes. <laughs> or, you know, walk time, walk time, walk time. You could just hear it come out of their ears and eyes and their little paws on the ground. Walk time. Yeah. And you cannot, you cannot stay depressed when you're walking with your dog and you see that they're just There are some like, depressing yeah. days. I will give you that. Pouring mm -hmm. rain, hail, <laughs> snow, February. There are some very unhappy walk days. Thank rain God. in the winter, yeah. The dogs also feel the rain and the wet, so they're pretty quick at doing the business, so that's yeah, good. My dog was the opposite, actually. Oh, like no. He was like, are you precious? Come on, do it, do it, so we can go back. No, it's not the perfect weather. I'm not sure. I didn't like that. <laughs> Adding to your stress, compounding your stress. <laughs> All you think about is, will the business come uh, in half an hour, in 20 <laughs> minutes, in 45 minutes? If that's the only thing you're thinking about. Boy, you got minimal stress. Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, put things into perspective. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Andrea. It's With a, pleasure. So you're like I'm sure that some people are going to be very, very inspired by the idea of having a pet is helping you to cheer up and to release some of your stress and to mm -hmm. see things differently and yeah. be in a better mood and keep you real yeah. you know the world can get crazy around you, you think. and just escalate to levels that you wouldn't think they would escalate to and the dog still has to go out they still need their food and they still need their belly scrubbed yep. and so you just give them a little scratch and that just keeps things real it really yep. does and they give it back to you they with their love. tenfold yeah tenfold thank you so much dear. pleasure pleasure thank you thank you <laughs> Thank you for listening. If you'd like to know more about our programs, services, retreats, trainings, and all sorts of tools to bring more laughter and joy in your life, visit us at www.yogadurir.com and for the women's laughing at hahasisterhood.com. Until next time, keep smiling and laughing. <laughs>